All right, so we believe that we've finally found that home golf simulator system that truly does it all. And of course, there are lots of great home launch monitors out there, and we know because we've tested quite a few of them, but the subtle difference is, whereas most are launch monitors first and simulators second, the Golf Zone Wave is the first of its kind that is truly a golf simulator first and foremost, and a launch monitor second. But maybe even more importantly, this particular system does one thing that no other out there on the market does. The Golf Zone Wave solves one of the biggest problems most home golf simulators face, and that is accuracy of putting. And it does that by including a separate piece of hardware specifically designed just for this purpose. And it doesn't stop there either. You also get mind-blowing graphics, over 100 different golf course options, highly accurate launch monitor data, an amazing driving range and short game practice ecosystem, and of course, the best putting experience, hands down, that we've seen on any home golf simulator. And because this is a home simulator first system, we're gonna do something a little bit different in this particular review. Mike and I are gonna go through and play some holes in live real time, giving you our feedback, while at the same time diving into everything you need to know about the system, including specs, accuracy, gameplay modes, and of course, price. So let's dive right into it. All right, um, 150 courses. That's pretty epic. It's a long list. It's a lot, but you know they, they separate it by region. There's USA, Korea, Japan, Europe. I think we're just going to find a course that's well known and one that you and I have played, Frank. I think an old course at St Andrews. Let's go. You ready? Right out of the gate. I'm impressed with the graphics. It looks legit. I mean, you got the St Andrews Hotel in the distance. Looks just like it. So I'm going to start with an iron here. Yep, I felt like I sliced it a little bit. Just land right there, settle. And I want to talk about what you get in the box and the whole system in one second, but let's first uh, take this crucial first tee shot. Fast. Yeah, it, I mean, it fires right away. And I like, this is called the broadcast view. It kind of looks like you're watching the yep. PGA Tour, which is really cool. So as Mike sets up for his next shot, let me just tell you quickly what you get in the box when you unbox this. First of all, I'd say the packaging is, of course, what you would expect from a premium system like this. It's very clean. You've got everything kind of laid out right in front of you. You even have a little carrying case for the radar. And if you look through it, you've got the radar, you've got all the cables that you need to connect. And then of course, you have that ever important putting mat all in the box, all prepackaged with this particular system. And some of you may be wondering who Golf Zone is because they're not truly a household name here in the States just yet. But one thing I can't emphasize enough is just how massive they are in the home country of South Korea. In fact, in two, 2022 alone, Golf Zone registered over 7 billion shots in South Korea taken on their simulators. That's over 90 million rounds played. So this is something that, like I said, is massive in its home country of South Korea and is really quickly making its way over here into the States. And I think something like this Golf Zone Wave is going to definitely increase that awareness here domestically. Come on, get on that green. It's a solid strike. Let's go. I really love this view. Look at that. Woo, baby, go in! Oh! Dude, nice you're getting claps and everything. All right, with us both up on the green, you're gonna get your first taste of this putting mat and how the putting works on the Golf Zone Wave. But we're gonna talk more about this mat in a little bit, more details about it, how it works and how cool it really is. But you guys gotta see it first. So this is gonna be about a half a cup out right, 23 feet. We have about 12 feet to the screen. Let's give it a go and see if we can get this birdie down. Oh, I left it on the low oh. side. Left it on the low. Close, though. I mean, it is accurate, and the putting does feel very good. What do you think? Think we can tap this birdie in or what? I think you got this. One under. Nice birdie. 
Got the butterflies and everything. Everything. They got it all right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so getting into some of those details about how the system itself works and how you set it up. You've got a radar-based device with the Golf Zone Wave. It can sit behind the ball anywhere from four to six feet, and you need 11 feet of travel to your screen in order for it to get an accurate reading. I'll talk more about that in a second. What I do like is how simple it is to align. You've got a physical line on top, which helps with your alignment, but you can also use the camera to make sure that you are aligned by using that as a visible aid of where the ball goes and where your feet goes. One thing I will say is there's definitely a lot of leeway in where you put the ball down. You don't have to be very precise in where you set it down in order to get a good reading. And we've gotten good readings just playing through without any trouble there. The Wave will also connect to either your computer or your iOS or Android mobile device using Wi-Fi. And then it connects to the putting mat with Bluetooth. And here, in order to get the full simulator experience, we're running this off of a PC. You can use either a Windows 10 or 11 machine. I'm gonna put all the full specs here on the screen so you can see what's required of it. One thing I will say though, to load up all of those 150 great golf courses, it's gonna take 70 gigabytes of hard drive space. So make sure you've got a robust computer in order to run this thing. Oh, look how much that look breaks. Look at that end, uh -huh. Look at Whoa. it run. <laughs> Just, like Just like real life, man. Just like real life, St. Andrews, baby. And the radar itself does act as a standalone system. It can run on battery for up to four hours. So you can take that out to the range if you want to use it as a launch monitor. We're going to show you more of that in a second. And just kind of an idea of how versatile this is, in addition to this great full-scale simulator setup that we have here, you can also use the Golf Zone Wave standalone as a launch monitor. There's a mobile app that's available for iOS and Android. It's the Skills app. And what that'll do is give you an incredible amount of both ball and club data. You've got your driving range there. There's multiple different views that you can go through. You can show things like shot dispersions, really everything you would need in a practice session. You can also use the onboard camera to record your swings, store your swings, replay them, even mark them up if you're practicing or working on certain things with your swing. There's really no limit to what you can do there. And like we said, we're gonna talk more about how the putting mat works in just a minute, but the cool thing is you can also use it in your skills app. It's one of the, actually the best tools that we've seen simply for working on your putting stroke. Not only does it read things like the ball and of course that club face, as we talked about before with putting, but it'll also give you very accurate measurements of your overall putting stroke and tempo. Again, something that we just haven't seen much of out of some of the other devices that are out there making it very unique. Oh, <laughs> that's not going to be fun at all. Cool thing too is pretty much all the information you could possibly need is on screen. So we've got the weather conditions being the wind there. We've got our distance, our elevation, even a great heat map of the green. So you can see the high and low spots if you really want to position your ball there. This guy's out to get me. Oh yeah. Frank, can you um, put that on ground view? I'm curious to see if it uh, takes it down to the ball. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's gives me a little more feeling of how deep this thing really is. And one of the features I really love is this distance penalty. If you're not on the fairway, if you're in a hazard, you're in the rough, the fescue, they will actually penalize you a percentage. So it's saying 20% distance penalty, which means that this swing is gonna travel 20% less. So now you have to account for that. So it makes it a little more real, and I love it when you're playing a match. You know, it kind of squares it up a little bit better. So we got 20% off of this 93. I think I have to use 60 here because I just have to go straight up. So first test of the bunkering here on the wave. Got it out. It's out. That's all I wanted to do. Don't go in another one. That's all you can do is That's wedge it. it out of those things. This, by the way, is a great opportunity to talk really quick about the specifics of the putting mat. So like I said, it's connected via Bluetooth to the Wave radar, and that's how the systems work together. It's also plugged into our computer for power here, and it's got on either side, it has infrared sensors that detect the ball speed and ball direction 
as it moves through the mat, it also picks up the club, noting that club face and club speed. So it's great for using for both simulation, but also for practice, like I said, within the skills app or within the putting practice in simulation, you get all that. Now, there are other home simulators out there that do putting. We've tested and looked at before things like the Mevo Plus and the uh, Foresight GC3. However, again, this is the only system we've found so far that has a dedicated putting device. Those other systems use that same radar or optics that they use to pick up full swing and try to do that for putting. And there's some nuances to there that can, you know, they can be fairly good, but they can also struggle in certain areas, especially with smaller putts. So here, you know, whether you're trying to take a hundred foot putt or a one foot putt, you're getting an accurate reading. So if I miss this birdie putt, there's really nobody to blame but myself. Get him in the door. Get him in the door. <laughs> Not bad, dude. So in a minute, we're going to talk about the pricing and the different options, because there are some subscription options that we can go over. There's a lot that's included for free, so I want to talk about that as well. But one thing I'll say, within the simulation, you have support for up to six players. It makes it a very social experience. You're able to, uh, whether you're playing with family or inviting a bunch of buddies over, whatever it may be, you can fill out up to six players. And there are even a number of different options while you're playing. If you hit the menu, you can go right in. You can add players as you go. You can also do some great stuff like these great hull flyovers, which will give you tons of information. So there's a lot that you can do while you're live. And there's one other really cool feature that we won't be able to dive too deep into here, but it's definitely worth showing. And that's the network option. So effectively, because this is connected to the internet, you can really not only play with people in person, but over the network play, you have the option to play with anyone else who has a golf zone simulator anywhere in the world. So it's a really cool way that you can kind of expand the way that you play in a multiplayer scenario. I think I sprayed that one a little bit. Yep. Yeah, he knew it. I'll tell you what, there it is. It goes OB, it's OB. Yeah, he knew it when you hit it. I knew it when I hit it. I felt like I left the face open. And uh, we got that result there. All right, as I re-tee this shot that went OB, I think it's a great opportunity to talk about a few of the cons, a few of the things that we don't like about the system or would like to see improved. Like I said, we've been raving about it because we're really enjoying it. I think this also shows like kind of the options of the future of where we can really go with systems like this, just expanding into additional hardware for different types of shots. But there are a few things that I think could definitely be improved upon. The first is that all the connections is done via Wi-Fi, even when you're out on the range. And what I find is that although the connection is stable, we've been playing, we don't have any problems with being disconnected, I tend to prefer Bluetooth because with Wi-Fi, you, you lose your internet connection when you're out there on the range with it connected to your mobile device. So I would like to see that. The other thing is it does have a pretty significant space requirement, like we mentioned earlier, if you're doing it indoors. You do need 11 feet of travel, which we're fortunate enough to have here because we have a 15 foot screen. But if you are building this out and you're making sure that you have everything that you need at home, keeping in mind 11 feet plus an additional four to six feet, you need a pretty big space to host a simulator like this. And the last thing is the price. And that's kind of something that's good and bad. So I want to dive into that in just a second. Uh, but now I got I to gotta re -tee. Another thing that's definitely worth mentioning is in addition to the great simulation, there's also a number of different practice options. So whereas with most units, you'll get at least a driving range experience. Here, of course, you get that. The driving range is really clean. It's good to use. You've got lots of information, data, and numbers there. But they've also got two other areas that you don't see often. One of them is in a whole approach practice area. And here where you can kind of move through and play from different ranges into a real target, into a green. So if you're working on those crucial approach shots, it's great visual feedback for that. And there's even a putting practice area where again, you can work on practicing your putting from different distances. And what this would look familiar to is if you've ever been to a golf zone location where they have their big $100,000 simulators with the incredible technology, the floor moving, here you're getting a piece of that because the software is similar, that approach practice, the driving range, and even what we're seeing out here on the course, 
the software is so similar. So you're getting a lot of that really great simulation and kind of bringing it home. Now, when we talk about price, we gotta talk about the different subscription options. And one thing before we get into that, I will say that the Golf Zone Wave does have the ability to integrate with other third-party softwares as we've seen with some of the other launch monitors out there. So for example, you can integrate it with E6, but why a lot of us do E6 is for the great graphics. Here, you're getting all of that right in the Golf Zone ecosystem. So for my money, I think I would just stay within the ecosystem. One of the pros, as I mentioned earlier, is that you actually get quite a bit in the original, I would call it free package, what comes with the system. Because right out of the box, not only do you get that skills app and all of the data, you get both your club and ball data, there's nothing that's locked, it's all unlocked, you get everything. But from simulation, you also, for the PC, you get three courses included. And one of those is my all-time favorite golf course, Kiowa Ocean Course. So you're getting a whole lot there right out of the box without having to pay an extra cent. But if you are willing to go for the subscription, as you go up in price, you get access to more golf courses and more features. But there's one that I definitely think is worth looking at. I don't know how long this price is gonna be around. It might be because the Wave is so new, they're doing an introduction, but you can actually get the full premium package for three years for $399. Now we've reviewed some other systems, Golf Joy and others that are charging almost that much for their software per year. So that's an incredible value. And it unlocks everything, all 150 golf courses. You've also got some other apps that you can work in there too. There's some games and other things that you can play. So you're really getting a lot for that price, but we still have to talk about the price of the unit itself. So let me just keep uh, making my way through this hole and we'll keep talking about it. Great shot. Felt crisp. Come on, turn, yeah. baby. You're turning. I need something on the green. Give him 30 more yards. Go. Look at this guy. Yes. Look at this guy. He's not giving up. No, not giving up. Still going to make a par here. Be the one. Be the one. Be the one. Oh! I love that view. Before I take that pot, I gotta talk about that price. I can't leave you hanging any longer. So the Golf Zone Wave system comes in at $3,995. And what that includes is everything you saw us kind of unbox here. We've got the radar, we've got the putting mat, all the connecting cables. And it does come with those three courses, as well as that skills app and all of that data. So it makes it a great value in that mid range. So it's things like the uh, Foresight GC3, which runs about six to $7,000. Things like the Mevo Plus, which if you unlock all of that ball and club data, it'll run you somewhere around $3,000. You're right in that mid range. One thing I will say though, if you are building out a home simulator, one thing you do have to keep in mind is in order to run a setup like we're doing here, you do need to get an enclosure. You will need to get a PC that's running either Windows 10 or Windows 11 in order to do this. So there's some additional expenses, but overall a pretty darn good value right in that mid range. Does he win it on one? Does he win it on one? Ah. <laughs> All right, and as you've seen here, it's been a very seamless experience. In fact, this is definitely, as I mentioned earlier, one of the absolute best home golf simulator experiences we've ever had. And a huge part of that is thanks to this putting mat, which may seem like a small feature, but anyone who struggled with putting indoors environment, you know just how frustrating and challenging that can be. And we have put everything all the way to the hole today and fully enjoyed it. And like I said, what I really like as we review all of these different golf simulators and launch monitors is just seeing that next level of innovation. So let us know what you guys think about the Golf Zone Wave simulator setup in the comments. And if you have any questions, drop them there as well. We'll try to answer as many of those as we can. And of course, as always, if there's anything else you wanna see us test here on the channel, let us know. We'll be sure to check it out.